the Cleveland Browns are going to have to make a decision this offseason when it comes to their current quarterback, Baker Mayfield. Baker's contract is up, and they can either resign him or they can look in a different direction. What do we think they should do? If you look at Baker Mayfield's numbers, he kind of sits with guys like Carson Wentz, guys like Matt Ryan, and really in between Carson Wentz and Matt Ryan, if you look at it in terms of quarterback stats and how quarterbacks rank up against each other. So Baker's been good. He's been good, not great throughout his whole career. His rookie year, he was really good, and we're like, this kid's going to be amazing. And he did pretty good his second year. And then he's kind of just evened out and really hasn't gotten better since those two years. Which, if you think about it, makes sense because Baker's an older quarterback. He was in college for a while. He's older coming into he was older coming into his rookie year. He was He's 26 now and in his fourth year. So he came in the league fairly old for younger players. And he's really not going to progress much more than what we haven't seen from him at this point in the season and at this point in his career. So what do we think we should do? If you got to look at your options, if you're Cleveland, you're a run-first team, and you see all the success from run-first teams. You saw your success last year, very close to beating Kansas City in that playoff game. You see the success that the Indianapolis Colts are having this season with Jonathan Taylor and Carson Wentz. That's kind of what you can look at. You can look at what Carson Wentz does and say, this is what we have. Are we? Can we be good enough with everybody else with Baker Mayfield, or is Baker the problem and we need better players everywhere else there? With OBJ is gone now, so they really don't have that good of receivers. I'm comparing them to Indy at the moment. I don't think think their receivers are very similar to Indies. They're not great, but they're sufficient. They're not terrible, but they're good. Like right in the middle of the group, they both have pretty good offensive lines and pretty good defense to go with it. Cleveland's done with a lot of injuries this season. They've kind of underperformed from our expectations after what they did last year. Everyone always loves to give Cleveland's expectations because they were bad for so long, but there's really no reason to. They haven't really proved us much. Besides last year, they had it pretty good. And we all expected OBJ to do well with Big Mayfield, but that obviously did not happen. It did not even come close to happen. So it'll kind of Cleveland can go the way of let's go try to get a big veteran, maybe Aaron Rodgers, maybe Russell Wilson, put him in because we think Baker Mayfield's issue and we think Baker Mayfield's was holding us back from winning. Or we can look at the rest of our roster and say, well, we really don't have the greatest receivers. Well, our offensive line is really good, but they were injured a lot this year. And so are our running backs. So it's not on Baker, and we can't blame him. And he's another guy that's dealt with injury this year. He's played through tons of pain. He's been really tough this season. And his ability to play through things has kind of been impressive at this point in the season. He's trying to do everything for his team, and it's tough. They, they, if they had just won the game last week with Nick Mullins playing against the Raiders because of COVID, they would be first play in the division, but instead they're last. So they're right in the mix of things, really competitive AFC West there, AFC North, sorry. And they could still end up winning the division if Baker comes out and plays good, the team comes out and plays good. Like, it's not all on Baker, especially the way Cleveland's built. This roster is not set up for Baker to be the guy. It's a Nick Chubb, Cream Hunt first offense, and then Baker's got to just do what he can to make it all work. Baker's shown that he's very confident. We saw that a lot in college, his days against Kansas. We see him in all these commercials. He's a very confident guy. We saw his draft day, his reenactment of the Brett Favre draft picture. He's a very confident guy. He was a Heisman winner. He is not going to shy away from anything, and that's why I like him in Cleveland. I think he fits well for Cleveland. He's a great name. He's really good for publicity, and that's kind of what Cleveland wanted because if Cleveland has Carson Wentz and not Baker Mayfield when they play very similarly and similar numbers, I don't think Cleveland gets as much hype or as much attention as Cleveland's been getting because it's Baker Mayfield, first overall draft pick, who's won the Heisman and not Carson Wentz, who is banged up, and people like to look at him as washed when he's not at all. Carson Wentz is that flyer under the radar guy, or Baker Mayfield is a, I'm going to gather so much attention, everyone's going to think I'm overrated, but really I've just been doing the same thing all the time, and everybody else just overrates me because of the attention that he gets off the field. Now, if I'm Cleveland, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Baker Mayfield. I'm going to try to get him back on a one-year deal, whether it's a franchise tag, whether it's just a one-year contract that you're telling him you got to prove it, here's one year, here's $15 million, or whatever it is, give it to him, tell him you got one year, assuming that everyone's healthy and that you're not going to have a missed games because of COVID, then Baker Mayfield can come out and try to impress you. And if he does, then he's your guy. Sign him for your long-term contract, whatever you want it to be. Give him the amount of money he wants. He's your guy. But if he doesn't, then you look to the draft. I think there's no – your team's good, but and you could possibly win with Aaron Rodgers. But do you want to bring in Aaron Rodgers to win one year or Russell Wilson to win three or four years? when you could have Baker Mayfield and you're competitive for a long time. Or if you move on from Baker Mayfield and go for the draft for the draft, you're going to be competitive for a long time that way. But you bring in an old guy, an older quarterback like Russell Wilson, Aaron Rodgers, or maybe they could look to the Deshaun Watson option if that becomes available because he's the same age as Baker Mayfield. 
the same draft class, and you have that where it's just a better version of what you have. But if you go the older quarterback, which I think is what's going to get talked a lot about Cleveland because they think they can win now and they have every right to do so as they're how close they've been and the pieces and money they put into the team. You bring in Rodgers, or let's say they bring in Rodgers, right? You are competitive this year, the next year, maybe you win a championship with him, and then the year after, and the year after that, the two years after that, you just slowly decline until it's a rebuild and your team is no longer good. But if you stay with Baker, it's just everybody's together, everybody's the same age, everybody's the same the same sort of expectation around we're progressively getting better as a unit and not we just brought in the superstar, he's going to come with us now, and then he's done, and we got to find to do something else after that. And that's what I think would happen. So you give Baker the one-year deal, see what he can do. I think he'd prove it to you guys, to Cleveland, that he proved it to me that he's the quarterback. I've seen enough from him where I think it'd be, he's fine, like he's not going anywhere, and that all the talk about this stuff is kind of stupid in my opinion. So I think that's what I would do. But let's say he goes out and sucks, then it's like, okay, you see if anybody else had become available. Like maybe it's nothing happened to Sean Watson a year, ap- another season after. You can go that way. Or you say, we were really, we were really bad. We are eight and nine. We are seven and ten. That's not where we want to be. We got to look to the draft. We got to trade future draft picks to get up to the top pick, and draft, draft a top quarterback. You'll have C.J. Stroud. You'll have Bryce Young. You'll have D.J. Uyagle if he bounces back. Maybe Spencer Rattler's something that he came back and is good. And you're looking at those quarterbacks in the draft. Those guys that we're gonna be expecting to be big draft picks, high lot because this year's quarterbacks is down compared to next year's. So that's what I would do if I was Cleveland with Baker. I want you guys to think I'm rooting for Baker. Personally, I like the guy. I hope he does well.